Hi, Rob Hackford is over at that big fancy monitor over there in the studio. Today. Yeah, he's keeping track of everything yeah. for us tonight. He's playing with all the cool technology. What do you got there, Rob? Yeah, talking a little bit about the Senate, the balance of Senate power right now in the U.S. Uh, you know, as much as the presidential election matters here, control is very slim right now with Senator Chuck Schumer as the uh, majority leader in the Senate right now. We spoke with UB professor uh, Connor Dowling about this slim margin, how, it, how this race could play into those down ballot races. Uh, the race here in New York State with Kirsten Gillibrand and Michael Sapricone, not really competitive here. We are still waiting on those results to come in at 9 p.m. Uh, Gillibrand is expected to win uh, this race, uh, but we have a few others around the country, um, as you guys mentioned just a bit ago uh, in West Virginia, uh, where this balance could be shifting, uh, which would spell bad news for the Democrats. Uh, and, and, you know, a good situation for Republicans who would be in that control or, or gain majority control as they already have with the House. So having that two party control potential win for uh, former President Trump, uh, it'd be an interesting situation to, to have all three in control. It's been a little while since that has been the case. I can't speak to that specifically. I'm sure uh, Professor Donahue could uh, touch or elaborate on that a little bit. But again, as we wait to get these numbers in, let me shift back to the map here. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about Pennsylvania. Um, and what we're at 7% of votes counted in right now, uh, Kamala Harris leading here. Uh, but as you can tell, a lot of the more rural areas uh, within Pennsylvania, we even just got an update there as you speak, 12% now reporting uh, with a few more results in from more, some more of the rural counties that would lean, you know, typically lean more Republican here. Um, again, Harris leading here, only 10% though. So this is largely, or a lot of this is gonna be um, the early vote that's going in and some of the very initial numbers uh, with polls closing in Pennsylvania around 8 p.m. Uh, so let's switch back here. We can check out another state at this point. Uh, North Carolina being another swing state here, another place where we've been looking for numbers. Uh, only 10% of votes, oh, there we go, 21%. So an update as you see here um, on WGRZ+. Plus. Uh, so continuing to follow that. And again, the more urban areas uh, filling in, uh, in in favor of Harris here. Uh, but but former President Trump carrying much of the rural regions as well. Um, this will be uh, continue to be updated throughout the night here. We'll, uh, of course, have have more on this. Uh, and I think we mentioned a couple times here tonight, you know, the last presidential election was not decided until or wasn't called by a media outlet until four days after election night. A very similar situation is going to be predicted here tonight as we spoke with several UB professors that have said that same thing. Um, and we're actually going to hear from that UB professor, uh, Professor Connor Dowling, uh, talking about the a very tight situation with races for the U.S. Senate right here. Yeah, heading into this cycle for the last two years, really, uh, we've heard a lot of talk about how it's a quote unquote difficult map for the Democrats to maintain control of the Senate. And it certainly seems to be shaping up that way. Yeah, it seems like uh, with the retirement of Joe Manchin uh, in West Virginia, that's a, a state where it seems like the Republicans are going to pick up a seat, uh, as well as in Montana, where John Tester, the incumbent Democrat, seems to be like he is, at least by you know, recent projections and polls, seems like he's likely to not hold on to his seat. Yeah, so while New York really isn't playing a factor in that decision with Senator Schumer still in office and then Senator Gillibrand expected to win her race, uh, we'll continue to follow those changes um, in those states that we mentioned, you know, West Virginia, Montana, a few others as well, uh, where we could see that that trifecta per perhaps happen with the House flipping, uh, the Senate, um, well, the House maintaining, part, pardon me, the, the Senate flipping and, and the president uh, becoming uh, former President Trump taking control for the Republicans, that trifecta there. Scott Mary Alice.